treat you good! We are the Naked and Famous and we, we are rockin' rock <laughs> Listen, congratulations on a great year. Thank you. Thank Amazing. You. Thank you. When, when you started 2011, had you any indication that, that the rest of the year was going to roll out like it has? That would be in the pink Yeah. No. No. <laughs> we, I mean, Touring plans started to come together at the very start of the year, so I mean, we, we had some idea of the type of places we'd be visiting, but not necessarily um, how well things were going to go at certain radio stations, especially here in America, so it's a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a blast, really. Are you, does this surprise you? Does this kind of success statewide, is that surprising to you, or is this something that in your heads that you guys were like, you know what, this is going to happen, we're going to conquer the U.S.? <laughs> and you sat down and we were like... Right, I've got an idea. Plans for 2011? Yeah. Conquer, just conquer the US. <laughs> what do you reckon, mate? Just want to quit your uni? Um, we, are, we are surprised all the time. There's not one dull moment and we don't take anything for granted because it's really hard for a New Zealand band to be travelling around the world as musicians and being able to sustain it for a, a long period of time. David gets surprises when he looks in the mirror sometimes. Sometimes he's you, you front, he frightens himself. I, I get, I, I do. I, but literally, I get surprised every night. Like last night, we played in, uh, sort of just out of San Diego, and there was like a sold out show there. And that's, uh, that's weird to come from New Zealand and then consider a sold out show in the States. Mm -hmm. it's, it is very, very exciting for us. Can you take me a little bit through the the writing process on this record? Is this kind of a shared? Um, experience between all the band members or is somebody doing the majority of the writing? Um, it's sort of like, uh, it's always sort of been sort of the thing, the group that I've been leading so I kind of end up sitting in the middle of everything but um, it's it's a process of uh, me working on ideas for songs with Elisa so sometimes they just hear a guitar or uh, you know a simple sort of chorus verse idea um, and then we'll sort of work on that as a song and find a place for place for like you know pop vocals to sit essentially um, and then myself and Aaron will go and produce it uh, which I mean Aaron's, Aaron's role in producing is very much electronic so it's a lot of noise orientated things um, kind of finding places to get instrumentation and textures to sit uh, and then we'll go into a rehearsal room and rehearse it as a band and then a lot of fine tuning gets done because just in, in performing it, you just figure out whether something makes sense to perform. So, so you know, there's three sort of stages that it, that it goes through. Um, I think the next record, though, is going to be a little bit more refined in each process, so that I'm doing I'm doing loads of demoing right now, and I think we're going to have much more intensive group rehearsals where we really figure things out as a group. Um, and, and I think we're quite excited about the idea of the second record translating almost identically as it does recorded to live. So, you know, like all the electronic trickery is, is something that we look at writing, mm -hmm. like uh, physically writing rather than actually just, you know, clicking on a computer. You guys are still obviously a relatively young band. You guys are all young guys, girls, gals, but that's how we say it here in LA. Yeah. But yeah, yeah right. Um, but I'm just wondering if, if you think about legacy at all, um, about how you want your body of work to be remembered. Um, does that come into your daily mindset at all? It's You're nodding. Of, yeah, that, yeah. I, think, I think it is. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think it's actually even just that's by default part of what we're doing currently. You know, like uh, the music that cr we're creating now, um, and the way we work as well. We're not like one of those bands who just sort of stumble across something and record it, and then six months later go, oh, "I'm so sick of that. Oh, can't be all the planning." Which is amazing because so many bands that I've bumped into are just like oh god I hate that record that we did and it's so like okay why'd you do it then or like how can you change that much as a person uh, that you despise your first album but uh, yeah so you know nothing we've done uh, I feel uncomfortable with or not proud of you know it's just you know it's like looking at creative photographs or something it's like the growing process of what you've achieved and what you've created. Uh, so, in that sense, uh, the whole looking back on it, that's always going to be something that we get excited about or think about while we make music. Is there a traditional New Zealand cuisine? Yeah, um, fish and chips. Pies, meat pies. Meat pies? You don't have them here. We don't have those here. 
It's just yeah. like those are disgusting meat pies. No, no, no those are very good. They really? Like, you oh. get beautiful gourmet. You get gourmet. Okay, maybe I, maybe I had a bad experience. I'll, I'll, I eat the bad ones as well. I don't eat I don't eat gourmet pies. I yeah, have, like a three dollar pie from a dairy or a gas station. <laughs> But no, I, to be honest, I think New Zealand has, and I, I miss this a lot, and I think I can speak for everyone when I say yes. we miss New Zealand food. The, uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very good. Um, we have fantastic restaurants. It's and, bountiful. And we actually have coffee that doesn't taste like brown spit in a bucket, which is what... Are we talking about Starbucks? Or are talking we talking about anything that I've ever drank. Drunken, drunken, drunk. Drunken, drunken. drunken. <laughs> you can't get a good cup of Joe here in, in LA. Look what it's doing to my brain. I <laughs> well, we either that or we just haven't found because you're so because you're hidden. No, I I've been looking. It's all crap. <laughs> it's rubbish. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm not. Here. It's rubbish. Uh, and how often do, do people mistake you from being from being from uh, either Australia or British? All the time. Every yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. I don't mind. I just like started saying I'm Australian now. <laughs> Australian? Yeah. Right. Oh. All right, that's all I got for you guys. You guys rock. We dig the record. Thank, Thank you. So much. Best success in 2012. Thanks. You guys. Yeah. Well, I'll treat you good.